This page is mostly about mental health, but in psychotherapy, I often encourage my clients to, in effect, own your own town. As well, possibly some viewers of this site might be interested in finding out a little bit more about Vancouver, where I live. Whether you're a resident or a visitor, a day trip to Bowen Island is one of the easiest and, frankly, cheapest things that you can do. First, you take the 257 Express Bus from Granville and Georgia in downtown Vancouver right out to Horseshoe Bay. This is a nice spot on its own. You can have a meal at Trolls, the traditional diner there. You can uh, watch the ferries come and go to Nanaimo and the Sunshine Coast and to our destination, Bowen Island. For most purposes, it's probably not worthwhile taking your car. Just do a walk-on. It's a 20-minute cruise across to Bowen Island at Snug Cove. Once there, it's down to the car deck and walk off. Snug Cove itself is a tiny community that's worth wandering around. It has a pub, it's got some good restaurants, and some nice places to see. Just about a block off the ferry and to your right, you'll find the entrance to Crippen Regional Park. There's an easy hike around Killarney Lake, and towards the end of the lake, there's an access point to the Mount Gardner hike, which is a slightly more grueling trek up to the largest mountain on the island, with views over Vancouver and the Strait. Today we'll just do the lake trail. Bowen may seem quiet, but there are busy roadways like this one. This is an easy way to get onto some well-maintained trails with uh, no risk of getting lost, no bears on the island, at least not usually, and uh, a pub at the end. If you really get puffed out, you can hitchhike back to Snug Cove. Here are a few of the places in Snug Cove. And if you like, you can hike up to a viewpoint that looks out over Vancouver and the Strait of Georgia. Coming back into Snug Cove, there's a marina and a huge picnic area. There was actually a wedding going on there the day I was there. The ferry runs once an hour or so, so you never have to worry about missing it. And then it's back to Horseshoe Bay. There are a 
a lot of really good day trips out of Vancouver. I often say that Vancouver is a nice destination as a city, but it's an even better destination as a setting. So if you ever go to Vancouver, get out of town. Go do one of these things. They may prove to be the highlight of your trip. And if you are a local, this is a resource on your doorstep. Make use of it.